Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. I'm Joel. So today what I have for you is kind of a, a quick impromptu wind video again. Um, this time I want to share with you kind of an old school method um, that has been in use for a long time and we're going to find out uh, with one shot if it still kind of holds true. So let me start off with a, a quick explanation of what I'm seeing downrange. So um, what I've got here on the camera is a picture of the range. Um, it's kind of more centered up on the uh, bean field. And I've got a wind chart that I've shared with you guys in the past. And so basically this wind chart asks me questions, okay? And I, I kind of stole this from Gunworks out in Wyoming. I took a class with them uh, some years ago and, um, and they shared this with me and it's proved itself um, valuable. So uh, basically I need to say to myself, can I see a weak occasional wind. Yes I can, so I know that the wind is at least three miles per hour. Next question, can I see a weak constant wind? Yes I can, so then I know it's at least a five mile an hour wind. Now can I tell the direction of the wind by looking at the vegetation? Yes I can, I can tell the basic direction of the wind by the vegetation, so I know that that's at least a seven mile an hour wind. Now the next question is, is is the vegetation starting to lay down? So is the wind blowing hard enough to just lay that stuff over? Uh, no, it's not. That would have been a nine to 10 mile an hour wind. It's not there, so we're gonna go back to seven, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna base my wind guesstimation at a seven mile per hour wind. And now I'm gonna take that seven mile per hour wind and I'm gonna plug it into this formula, right? And so the, uh, the formula basically takes the first number from your yardage distance so in this case, I'm going to be shooting at a 525 yard target, okay? So I'm going to take the number 5 as my first and punch that in. 5 times my wind, which is 7 miles per hour, gives me 35, right? And then I'm going to divide this by a wind constant. So for this distance, shooting my 6.5 Creedmoor, my wind constant is roughly 14. So I'm going to divide that by 14, okay? That gives me 2.5. So if I was shooting an MOA, my wind hold for a full value 7 mile per hour wind would be 2.5. Now, I'm shooting mills, so I have to times that by 0.3. Again, this is a rough wind guesstimate, so don't hammer me that it's not exactly 0.3. So I'm going to take that times 0.3. That gives me a 0.75 uh, wind hold for a full value 7 mile per hour wind. Okay, now I know by looking at this wind down here through the, through the scope, that we're not dealing with a full value, all right? We're dealing with a quartering wind. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my number, 0.75, and I'm gonna multiply that by 0.75. So 75% so, uh, of that, so times 0.75. That gives me a 0.56 wind hold for the actual wind conditions that I'm seeing down there. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna hit or not. I hope I don't miss. We don't need another failed attempt, uh, one shot attempt video again, all right? So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guesstimate a 0.5 wind hold. I think it's seven miles per hour, fairly certain it's quartering. So for a 525 yard target, I'm going with a 0.5 wind hold and let's see what I get. All right, so hopefully you heard that down there. You might not have been able to see it on the on the camera that's zoomed in, but uh, we got an impact, and uh, the shot looked to me to be um, a little bit on the left side of the target. And so, uh, you know, I took my hold uh, .5 and I held that um, dead center. So now, if I would have held my .5, uh, assuming that the wind might even be higher yet, if I would have taken my .5 and held that left edge, that would have been a miss but I held my .5 dead center. I ended up getting kind of a favor left side hit, it looked like to me. Um, so impact's an impact in the game we play. Uh, at that distance on the target I'm dealing with down there still would have been a good kill on an animal. But it just goes to show that sometimes the old ways uh, work just as well as, as using any kind of um, you know technology like a Kestrel. So anyway, there you have it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, like and share the video. If you haven't subscribed already, do that. Please consider supporting me through Patreon. That would be a huge help as well. 
Thanks for watching guys. Tune in again next week for another great video.